This is probably the thing that I complain about the most. I really wasn't thinking when I bought this ribbon, but the glitter on this ribbon is literally getting everywhere. You guys know how I feel about glitter, but it's the holidays, so I guess I can make an exception. Not a fan, like for real though. How do you guys get rid of unwanted glitter? Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today I'm gonna show you how to turn regular brown craft paper into holiday themed gift wrap. This is a cool tutorial that will show you that you don't necessarily need to buy fancy holiday gift wrap to decorate your holiday gifts. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include ribbon, stamps, ink pads, scissors, clear tape, some holiday pine cones, and some brown craft paper. To start wrapping your gift, you first wanna roll out and measure the right amount of craft paper. You want to have enough gift wrapped so that there's enough so that it folds up about halfway on each end of your box. Go ahead and cut your wrapping paper. Make sure you have enough gift wrap so that it wraps around your entire box and you have a little extra so that you can fold it in and have a clean edge. Some techniques for wrapping your present only use about three or four pieces of tape. I like to use the right amount just to make sure that the gift wrap is secured onto the present. Go ahead and start taping the first side of your gift wrap onto your box. Make sure your wrapping paper is fitted neatly onto your present. Take the edge of your gift wrap, fold it and crease it so that there's a nice clean edge for your present. Go ahead and tape that down. On the side of your box, you're gonna fold down this first flap and crease these sides so that they're neat. Take your two sides and then fold them in. Take your last flap and then fold it in towards you to create another clean crease. Depending on the thickness of your gift wrap, you might have to use multiple pieces of tape so that it is held in place. Repeat this to the others on the other side. After you've wrapped your present, you're gonna use some holiday ribbon and a few other holiday accessories to turn this simple brown wrapping paper into something a little bit more special for the holidays. When you're wrapping your holiday gifts, you wanna choose two ribbon colors that will actually work with the color of your paper. Today, I'm gonna be using gold and red for my holiday gifts. Starting from the top of the, your box, you're gonna have about six to seven inches worth of ribbon and you're gonna place that on the center of your box. Go under your box and then bring it around back to the top. Once it's back at the top, you're going to twist it and then wrap it on, along the other side of your box. Once it's wrapped around, and it's been brought back up to the top. You want to cut your ribbon so that it's the same length as that first piece. And then tuck it right under the ribbon and simply just tie it at the top. To add a little holiday detail to this gift wrap, I strung some pine cones that I got some Michaels with some red string and I'm just gonna tie that right onto the top of the present. Another technique to personalize your holiday gifts is to use stamps instead of using gift tags. This way it actually shows that you spent that, much, that little extra bit of time to label your gifts and to make it that much more special. Once you've tied your ribbon and labeled your gift, you are done with your gift wrap. Uh, depending on the amount of ribbon that you have, you could actually use multiple ribbons on some presents. For this one, I used two just to give it a little bit more detail and change up the way that I'm wrapping all the other presents. Um, I usually use different ribbons just so that it looks like that they're all just a little different compared to the previous one. Uh, the great thing about using craft paper as a gift wrap instead of spending the money on holiday gift wrap is that you could actually use 
um, craft paper as a wrapping paper year round. So you don't necessarily have to do this just for Christmas, you can do it for birthdays, anniversaries, whenever you need gift wrap, all you really need to do is find the right kind of ribbon and possibly the little accessory thing at the top to turn it into the uh, wrapping paper that you need. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this project and you guys are able to customize your own gift wrap. If you do, make sure you share it either on my Facebook, my Instagram, or on my Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag. And hopefully you guys also enjoyed watching all of the other videos in our holiday series. Happy holidays. Make sure you guys enjoy and share your gifts. And yeah, take care and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.